Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. And here we are once again with my company that we started a little over a month, well, a little under a month ago, I should say, really. Stephen Co. operating in the beautiful Devonshire city of Exeter and the surrounding countryside as well. Now, first things, if you do hear a bit of noise in this recording, um, that sounds a bit like a pitter patter of rain on a metal roof or on glass, that is because it is the sound of the pitter patter of rain on a metal roof and glass. I'm currently sat under a metal roof in the Lay District. Like the views are stunning from where I'm sat, but at the same time it is raining because it is January in the UK and that is what it does here. Currently a lot of my fleet is getting washed and is going about getting fueled and cleaned and the rest of that jazz all ready for, um, all ready for the start of the day's service. A lot of this was organised at the end of the last episode, just send those through to get washed, but hopefully they'll be gone soon, maybe we can even do a little time jump to get us started. It's not often we get a time jump anymore with all everyone being busy and stuff. But yeah, that's currently all getting sorted. And the schedule is also sorted, so that also should save us a bit of time having to sort some stuff out. Which also leaves us now with my teeth stuck into the meat and potatoes of this episode. But first things first, before we get stuck into all of that, quick recap on what happened in the last episode. That funny harp music that you get and we're looking here. Yep, we managed to expand our map to its maximum size. So before now we've really just been operating in this little corner here of this Exeter and a little bit out. But we have unlocked all the way up here and our map is now huge so huge lots and lots and lots of room for us to go explore lots of room for fun that's lots more room for me to get lot more opportunity for you to start exploiting stuff and making money becoming rich beyond my wildest dreams rich i tell you rich <laughs> well that is the plan at least so yes that is what happened last time Oh, we can time jump. Will we time jump? There we go, we're jumping forward. There we go, it's 2.35. It's not the 4.17 we used to jump forward to. But as soon as this happens, hopefully we'll be back to it in just a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so that time jump actually took a while for us to come back. So we do have the opportunity for another time jump. But this could be a risky one. Do I want to go for it? Oh, we do enjoy a bit of time. God, look at everyone just wandering around my depot. Just look at that. No high visitors on. No pedestrian walkways. How dangerous is this? Like, it's basically three in the morning. It'll be dark out. God, blimey. They're taking their lives in their hands. Anyway. Yes. Ignoring that, so where were we? Oh, yeah, the meat and potatoes of this episode. Getting stuck into it. Oh god, you used to manage to skip a clean. Let's get a cleaner to you. So anyway, yes, getting stuck into this episode. What I want to do is get new routes, new buses, new everything out into our new map. Somewhere that we can exp the way to get out of there, have fun, make money, and do all that good stuff that we were just talking about. So first things first, we, what we probably need to do is hire some more staff. We do have 75 bus drivers. But I feel that when we're going to buy, we're going to buy new new buses and the new roof, we might need more. So, do we have anyone de worthwhile hiring here? Uh, Mor Morganica Edda, Edgar, Ed Edda, Morganica Edda. I don't know, but you're hired wherever you are. You're friendly, you're reliable, and you're cheap as hell. Rutherford, Orozoko, or Ozak, Orozoko. Well, Rutherford, you're still hired anyway. You're not very reliable, but you're friendly, and Woody, I'm going to hire you too. Anyone down here who looks good? Mm. Uh, Prudence, I'm going to hire you anyway. You're not very reliable, you're very unreliable, but we're going to deal with that. And then we'll have a look for another round of bus drivers. Do we have anyone decent here? Uh, Gerson? Gerson Steinmuller? Great surname, we will hire you. Uh, Gifford Willard, Gifford Wild, yes, hired. 1240, you're definitely cheap. 
And Kurt Caleb, you're an expensive guy, but I'm going to hire you as well. Hire, hire. There we go. We got him. Hopefully that should now be enough drivers for our first first round of buses. At the end of last episode, I put a whole bunch of my LFSs up on the market. They're no longer small buses that don't fit in those small bays. So they, their purpose for being in my fleet disappeared. So they're now being sold. Um, and I'm hoping to get some good money from them. Which, that's a poor offer, so you're gone. That's also a bad offer. No, don't want that. Bad offer. Ooh, good offer. Bad offer. Okay, we got rid of one of them. That wasn't great. Wasn't the start I was hoping for. So um, we need probably a bit more money for these buses to come in. Like, we do make quite a lot, but we'll blast through that 95 fairly quickly. What loans do I have that could interest me? Hmm, there's nothing in too interesting here. 100,000, 3.1% for 120 days. So it's only 859 repayment a day. We'll take that one, which is good. Uh, oh, that bus has gone back out. They needed a bit more cleaning. But oh well. He will survive. And I think now most of our fleet is... Or oh, you can get into that wash. It's all heading out very soon. Oh, we've got another offer. Is this a good one? No. Bad offer. Stop being so rubbish with what you're offering me. So let's... um. Let's get started. Let's have a look now at hiring these buses. Not hiring these buses. We're buying the buses. They're becoming mine. Mine. So if we have a look in here in our second hand marketplace. So I'm going to be trying to buy a few deckers, but mostly I want some intercity LEs. And anything that's not intercity, I will just lowball away and then we'll sell anything that we accidentally buy later on. So this probably is going to be another part buying speed through you don't need to watch me doing this and we'll just keep a tally of the buses over here somewhere so let's try getting rid of a few of these less good ones no rejected good anyway off we go no more talking Okay, that's got a few a few new buses in. Let's have a let's have a look at getting some of these repaired up and sorted. Do we have all the parts that we need? Because you need a lot of them. Didn't get anywhere near as many um, intercity LEs as I would have liked, but we are we have a few buses to get to get sold second hand. Which will probably give us another chance to have. A load of I have another go of trying to buy some more of the intercity LEs later on. Oh here we go, lots of the new buses are over here. Oh, we've got those three in the garage now. Do you need to be sold? Get a cleaner to you.
Okay, so we've got a good start now in getting those buses all spick and span. We've got a few offers on buses down here. So this one, full offer, yep. You are too far behind. You are a full offer. Full offer. Ooh, we'll take that one because that's a full offer. There we go. So that does have us a little bit more money. Can I get you into the garage? No, there's no lifting platforms at the moment. Just go for an outside wash. And you can be the first one to be painted. Although I think some of the others over here are also nearly ready for a bit for a quick splash of paint. So it's a decent offer. Yes, it is. That's a much better offer. You can have that bus now. How about this one? Ooh, it's a thousand short, but still more than I paid for the bus. Take it. Browse local. And what do we have in here? The green, that's what we want. It was a nice colour before, actually, but it looks even better now. What do you need? I think it's just your... Now, you're all... All repaired up. You can go to the paint bay next. I missed you down here. You're all fixed up. You just need some cleaning. So we'll get the cleaner to you. The wash bay. And there we go. Into the paint bay you go. And we'll get you painted up. Okay, so far so good. We have a good few number of buses ready. Just carrying on with this usual, just about getting everything painted and cleaned. I think it's time. I actually need to get into the paint bay too. There we go. How is our service centre doing? Only a five minute wait, that's perfectly fine. Nice. And we might have another look for a few more in-city LEs in just a moment. So we've got a couple of spare, so we're going to start on putting a new route in. So we're going to pause it for this. Ooh, we've got a new offer. Let's see what that is. Is that a good one? We've got two of them. Oh yeah, I was going to accept you, wasn't I? I wasn't accepting that other one. That was a pathetic offer. And God, the first person gave it a better offer. A better blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we've got a few more um, in City LE, so we're going to put a route in. Quick look. Do we what? Uh, what? What public service lines do we have? Nada Water. I can pronounce that one. I can't do Idi, E, ID. I don't know. Id. So yeah, we'll do Nada Water. It's a nice, simple one. Just fifteen hundred houses, fifty-three points of interest, and fourteen bus stops. Every half hour on Saturday, but 60 minutes Monday to Friday, 90 minutes Saturday, um, Sunday. We'll take that one. And of course we're going to start over at Nadder Water. Well, looking over at Nadder Water. But that's not where we're going to be putting our first stop in. No, you know the drill. It's over here at Cheek Street, where all these buses are. Like, it's getting quite congested here. But we're going to chuck another route in there. So Cheek Street, to Power Street, to High Street, to Four Street to Xbridge, Cheers. then across to Railway Station, then the General Buller, the Cambridge Street, and then you can come up this way, to John Lever's Way, drop a couple to go to shops, Southport Avenue, Prescott Road, Green Lane, Berkshire Drive, uh, Barley Farm Road, Barley Farm Road, we can come across here, not much across there, but we'll stop at the top here, as we're sort of entering Nadder Water at bus stop, and if I zoom in, can I zoom in up here? It won't let, oh, I'm going to try and, oh, well, there's a little road between these two here, which we can use as a loopy roundy place, another bus stop in Nadder Water, bus stop again, and then back the way we came.
nadder water. And we'll change the colours. I don't like that weak weak ass purple. We're gonna go for a good strong yellow. It's not a strong yellow, is it? But we're doing it anyway. We're gonna pretend it's nice and strong. So if we have a look at our advanced settings in here, we can't change any of this. This is all set up. So we have we've come out. So we'll have Nadder Water as a um, West rest stop out here. Uh, we'll add six minutes, straight at 25 when we get out there. And then it'll be 40 when it gets here. So they've got plenty of time when it gets back in for a turnaround. So it was this one. Was it? No, it's this middle one, wasn't it? There we go, same again. We'll give you six minutes waiting there. And the same on the Sunday. Happy days. We'll confirm that. Now we'll just take, take a couple of buses up on that one. Nice and easy. So we've got that one all sorted out. Time for another route. I'll do my own bus route this time. Obviously we're going to be starting here at, at Cheek Street. And we're going to come round to Paris, High Street. We're going to come out a similar way, but I want to do this area over here covered up a bit more. To big, so we did just on High Street, to top of 4th Street, then X Bridges, cross to Railway Station, Old Vicarage Road, first and last, uh, St Philip's Court, Saville Road, uh, Buddle Lane. I'm going to skip this one because it comes up over there. So say we go around to Barley Mo, Barley Mount, uh, Hakum Close, Higher Barley Mount, Anatone Crescent, Litchfield Road, Guildford Close, Peterborough Road, uh, Truro Drive. Noel Drive, Fitzherald Drive, Burita, Burita Drive, Holong Court, Holong Court, Kinnerton Way, Wythecombe Way, Farm Hill. There's too many stops around here, we need to skip a few out. Uh, Farm Hill again. I'm going to change the colour of this so I can see what's going on. Nice orange. Then around to this one. There we go. Uh, Madison Close. I'm actually going to stop this side. And instead of coming back a similar way, we're going to go to our community centre. Cross over the river. And then we're going to have a stop at bus at the um, St David Station. And we're going to stop here, the house is halfway along. And then a stop outside our depot. So drivers can use that for getting in and out of work nice and easy. And then we're going to have a stop on this road. We're going to take a different way into town. So we're at X Bridges again. And at the top, South Street. It's probably a good thing we don't do this in real life because this road is always absolutely congested and it's a nightmare. So we don't really want to go this way. And I'm actually going to come up through here. So into Relish. Interesting sounding place. And another stop up here. Power Street stop 16. Apparently, no. Bus stop could not be placed here. Could not be reached. Okay. I'll just stop up the end of here. Can that one be reached? Paris Street stop 16 again apparently. Then around to Sidwell Street and back to Cheek Street. So this will be because it's on the, this, this route. What do we call it? So it goes to the west side of the river. So I'm going to call it W. It's a circular. There's WC1. 
So, we'll have a look at that route. And um, if we go into advanced settings, how long is it taking us for a loop? 38 minutes, cool. We're looking for Farm Hill, Lincoln Knoll Court, I think it was. So this one here, I'm going to put four minutes waiting here. And then St. David Station, another four minutes. Should have him on time. Easy. All right, we'll do this. Every day but Sunday. Until 10. I don't really we'll add the Sunday one in two. I can't be bothered. Changing would be hard work. So I want this to be running every 20 minutes and then every 15 rush hour. So that one will start. And we're going to do the first one at 4.50. Oop. And the last one will go at 10. What is 10? No, let's go at 11.10. There we go. So we will confirm that one. But this bus is now as a circular. It's a very big circular route. So I want to do one just going in the opposite direction. So just please, just one second while we name this one WC, because the, the West Circular 2. And it will start here. And it will just run back the opposite way. And this one will start at 4.10 in... No, 5.10 in the morning. So it'll run... No, I mean, we do it at 5. We'll leave it on the hour. Because it's a 20 minute circle, so if we leave it on the hour, that's 10 minutes after the, the um, WC1. So they, they will sort of be alternating like, like 10 minutes off the city centre. So you can take them in both directions. But I'll run this one until midnight, a bit later. It's a 20 minute circle, 15 minute rush, and if we come through here, where was it? Oh yeah, first stop is obviously St. David Station, we'll give that one 3 minutes there. Farm Hill, then it's Noel Court, we'll give that one 3 minutes. And it's 44, so that still works for th only needing 3 buses on that route. Confirm happy days so we now have a whole heap more buses that are needed on this on this for this lot over here and we have a larger area covered too like this covered it's covered the east side of the river quite nicely that's, there's not much more that I need to do over here I do want to get a couple of buses running over here we probably need to buy some more buses to fill it in first Anyway, let's come in and assign these buses then. So, what do we have down here? We well, need to get painted. In you go. Just come through and... Happy days. Now I start assigning. So we've got a WC on that one, on that one, and Nada Water on new. So sign. Oh, we're going to be short of buses, I think. Do we have? What are you going out on next? You've got a pen coming up. Well... Might have to be 
on one of these one of these single or these double deckers unusually for that well, that's got those buses assigned so we can get things started well we have more to assign now and it's just it's just use a bit of everything up to get to get these ones going doesn't matter they will all just be used and we will paint these and finish them up later on Okay, what are the what are our two messages in here saying? Are they from the the ED, the Eid, Monday to Friday, the one starting tomorrow, just starting an hour earlier, uh, driving intervals of 30 minutes, not every 60. So we need some more buses for that one probably. Uh, currently, this is on the Lucerne House on the Luz, starting tomorrow, they want you to start an hour earlier at 4:12, and the last bus to leave at 21:12, and a 15 minute interval. Okay, and 20 minutes at rush hour. So we probably need some more buses for those. Okay. Happy days. Anyway. Yeah, it's all coming together nicely. Okay. So I just had a, a little pause there. I'm back to it now. And um, I had a, a lovely request come in the, the other day from a... Um, from a from a, from a from a lovely viewer, was it Finley Plimpton or something? I think he's possibly from down the end of the world that I am, which is very nice, beautiful part of the world down there. But he put a request in, like it's on screen as you can see, for me to use. I put a lovely request in for me to use some Gemini's and some Tridents, and to give me get some feedback on it. So yes, you've asked lovelyly, you've asked lovelyly, as you've asked so nicely. Of course I will, but to do that we don't have any yet. I need to do some research. Well, they're both deckers, so we'll get them. Get, we'll get the first one unlocked there, and we'll hopefully have have him ready to go shortly. So we'll have a quick scan through, see if any of these buses need a clean, need a fuel, need anything at all. Get some diesel on you. Our customer service centre is filling up again. It's going to need an expansion at some point soon. There's a 15 minute wait time at the moment. And everyone is busy down here buying lots of tickets, obtaining lots of information. It's good. It's all looking fairly green and fairly happy. People seem to be not too unhappy at the moment. And there seems to be almost enough chairs for everyone to have a sit down while they're waiting. Only one unhappy person about the volume of travellers, about volume of people on my buses. But it is what it is. Let's see how our research is getting on. It's coming along slowly. I suppose while that's happening, I could um, keep going, coming through, trying to get these buses all painted up and stuff. Get you washed. It's gonna be a shame for you to lose your bright orange roof, as you are looking very cool with your with that roof, and I like it. Okay, so we unlocked the first of the buses before before that. It's the Trident Two. So we we'll try and research the last one. So a Trident Two, yes. Let's have a look Look at one of these, what one of these are when they're at home. It's in here somewhere, where are you? Probably gone across, isn't it? There we go, a Trident 2. So, I'm guessing this is based on like a Dennis Trident or like a Trident bus in real life. Now I have driven Dennis Tridents in the past. They were, I mean I love driving them. They were great little things, well great big things. Really analogue, uncomplicated. Boy, did they make a lot of noise when you put your foot down. They rattled and made all kinds of noise. Absolute huge steaming pile of excrement they were. And in some ways I liked it. They were full of character. Full of character. Which I suppose is just a way of saying they were not very good. And in game, how are they? 100 passengers. It's not huge. It's barely more than our intercities. But it has got a lot more seated passengers. Well, I say a lot more. It's got 11 more. Um, it's not huge. I'd imagine there'd be more on one of those. But we'll have a look at getting a few of those soon. We're going to have to buy a few more buses for the route. But how is our next bit of research getting on? It's coming along slowly. It's getting there. So let's have a look. See, see what needs doing. Yeah, you're all fixed up. I think you just need your paint job now. Okay, you can go paint and I see what this offer's like. I want you gone, so I take it.
Well, I think I made a bit of a pig zero that one, didn't I? I just applied this, this old coat back onto it, which is not what you want to do. Silly me indeed. Right. Let's... Well, you can wait for now. You had a chance and I messed up because the next bus is unlocked. The B9TL. It's a bit of a mouthful, that one, but let's go check him out. So here he is. So this is what I think uh, the um, viewer, the um, commenter was uh, mentioning for Gemini. So it looks very much like a Gemini bus. Um, I never really drove one of these. I'm not the biggest bus nerd all the time. Like sometimes I am, but yeah, it looks very similar. And the where where I know these buses from most is from London, because they're not like the famous London bus, but they are used an, an awful lot for like the London buses and stuff. So they're not like the Route Master or old or new or the Boris bus which is like the new Route Master I suppose but this does look very much like like the ones that I was the ones that I've used there an awful lot so it's quite curvy it's a bit modern yeah I mean these are the, the new Route Master but it's, I don't know why it's a triaxle we don't have triaxle Route Masters anyway it's 103 seats 61 so it's a bit bigger than a, than a um, Trident but yeah that's the B9TL. I'm struggling with that because I see those letters and as an Englishman, my mind instantly goes, BLT, BLT. It's a bacon, lettuce and tomato. So if I do say BLT or the sandwich or the bacon, lettuce, tomato, this is what I am referring to, which is the Gemini or the B9TL. So let's go look at second hand buses and we have another quick purchase montage, purchase playthrough. I try and buy as many as possible with our budget. Yep, so I'm after the B9TL and the um, Trident 2 and the Institute LEs. We've managed, I think, to get a couple of each so far. Oh, so it's a bit annoying when they reject. Come on. They give you a chance to give me a second offer in. But we're getting through our budget quite nicely. There we go. We've got, have we got another one? Yep, that's another B9TL. Um, the Institute LEs seem to get rejected quite a lot. I'm probably just offering a bit low on them. Well, another couple of um, D90, well, DLO5s where they are. I'm getting confused with all of these um, letters and numbers going on. Okay, that's got a few of them in it. Used up most of our budget. We have a few more buses that need to be sold. So you are the first one. Let's get you on the market. We're going to have a quick montage of now going through repairing and selling Let's see if I can do this one properly this time. Yep, much better. He's green. It's all coming together fairly well. A lot of them are now getting fairly repaired, although I do need more mechanics at this rate of purchasing. But there we go. They're all getting painted up and looking nice and fitting in. I'll be ready in no time with loads of buses. Okay, so we've got these all coming together nicely. Possibly time. See if we can get a couple more buses in. I know, we, I know we left when we left the marketplace. Oh, yeah, we'll take that off. We had a few, few BLTs that come on the market, and they're not too, not too expensive. So we'll offer, offer some money for some of these. And see what's going. And these have been so far so successful. And there we go. Two more buses coming in. That's all we need for the moment. I think all things all things going along. God, you're a knackered old knackered old thing, aren't you? Look at that. Everything needs replacing pretty much. Oh we don't have any more V belts. Well it's got a little bit of life in that V belt. So there's no point getting that done yet. See if we can get you in. No, there's no lifting 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a few more replacement parts sorted quickly. Um, yeah, we'll go go for up, up for nine again, at, or around nine of each. Not indicators we have loads of those. Don't know why I'm buying another one, but I'm not going to complain. They they'll, they'll get used up. Our drivers seem to be able to break everything pretty quick. Oh, it's gone to ten. Oh well, they're only cheap. Come on, all the way across the nine, and let's get these delivered. Got only just enough money for that. And we have another offer in the marketplace. Let's see how things are getting on here. Yeah, we'll take that one. 18 grand. Lovely. Some of these double deckers, like this, the BL, the, B, the B9TL, sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> well, sometimes I might do, but a lot of the time I'm not doing it on purpose. They are tiny little buses, those ones, aren't they? Like they're way smaller than all the other ones. Uh, well, you need some repair, but that's have to wait for another time. And the Tridents, the Tridents aren't that much bigger anyway, but they are a little bit bigger. Like, but yeah, they are small, small buses. The the BTL. Anyway, it's been a fairly successful episode. We've got plenty of new routes in there. We've got some new buses. It's time for me to end the episode as I go through and now work on trying to get the fleet ready for tomorrow's service. Which I think a lot of them are looking in pretty good nick. But I'll go through and get this polished off overnight. I'll see you again in the next episode for more fun. So until then, enjoy the rest of your evening. Ciao!